Welcome to the basic production process training topic. In order to take this course, you should first complete the bill of materials training topic. At the end of this topic, you will be able to add a production order. Complete a basic production process. The production process starts with creating a production order. This is the main document in the production process. It records the progress of the production process for each item produced. Before work can begin, the production order status must be changed to released. At this point, the production order can begin collecting the costs of production. Components used in the production process can then be released to the shop floor, depending on the issuing method. When all work is done, you report completion of the production order. At this point, the finished items are received in the warehouse. Note that when the automatic method for issuing components to the shop floor is selected, the components and resources are reported as issued as soon as you report completion. When the production process is over, the production order is closed. This closure creates a journal entry for balancing inventory accounts at perpetual inventory managed companies. We will have a closer look at the production order and the production process in the next slides. A production order is a command to produce or repair a production item. A bill of material, BOM, is copied into the production order document. Then the needed quantity of finished item is entered together with the desired due date of production and other relevant data. The production order also tracks all the material transactions and costs that are involved in the production process. Note that production orders can be generated in the MRP and pick and pack and production processes as well. These topics are covered in details in the MRP and picking process course topics. This is the header of a production order for a decorative wooden door BOM, Bill of Materials. Once you select the item to produce in the product's number field, the data is copied from the Bill of Materials document to the production order. At the header of the document, in the planned quantity field, the production manager indicated that he wants to produce 10 decorative wooden doors. The base quantity of components in the rows is multiplied by this planned quantity. Use the priority field to manually determine the priority of a production order for example set the value 1 for the highest priority. By default the value is set to 100. OC Woodtrend gives higher priorities to large orders. The priority field is displayed in the pick pack and production window and in the open items list report. When opening a production order, the status of the order is set to planned. In this status, you cannot issue components or report completion of the production order. However, you can make changes to the data in the production order. Later on, to proceed to the next step in the production process, the production manager changes the status to released. Look at the dates on the right hand of the image. The order date is the date the production order was posted, and the start date and end date are the planned date range for this production process. By default, the due date equals the start date plus lead time of the produced item if it exists. This lead time is defined in the item master data, in the planning tab, and is used in production and MRP process to define the expected time for purchasing or manufacturing an item. The start date can provide additional flexibility for the production manager in scheduling production orders. Note that header information is also used as a basis or default for the production order rows. Let us examine the production order rows in the next slide. You can see that row data was also copied to the production order but changes can still be applied. Use the arrows on the right to define the correct sequence of the rows or change data in the rows. The production time field indicates the total calculated resource time in the row. The base quantity was copied from the BOM and the planned quantity was calculated according to the header planned quantity that the production manager entered. There is also a status in the row level. This status can be adjusted manually. It is not affected by the status in the header and it is used for information only. You can see date fields in the rows as well. By default, the start date and end dates in the rows are copied from the start date and due date of the header respectively. When you change a date in the header you can choose to apply the changes to the rows. In this basic scenario, the decorative wooden door is manufactured in one day so the start date and end date are the same in all rows. In the next slides you will learn about multiple root stages scenario where the start and end dates may vary in the different stages. Let us start the production process for the decorative wooden door. Once the production order is entered, the following happens. The quantity of the item components of the production order is subtracted from the available quantity of the items and became a committed quantity, we can see it in the item master data inventory tab. The capacity of the resources of the production order is subtracted from the internal capacity and became a committed capacity, 
more about resource capacity in the resource capacity training. The production manager changes the status of the order to release to start the production process. Once the status has been set to released, we can issue components depending on the issue method, receive the produced item into inventory and report completion for the production order. You still have the option to add or change components and resources that have not yet been issued. Since OC Woodtrend manages the shop floor area as a separate warehouse, the production manager transfers the components from the main warehouse to the shop floor. He does this by creating an inventory transfer from the context menu of the production order. At the end of the process, the production manager reports completion of production. From the context menu, he chooses report completion. When reporting completion, the system automatically receives the finished product into inventory by adding a receipt from production document. Issues back flushed components by adding an issue for production document. Calculates the cost of producing the item. Note, a receipt from production document can be issued also from the production menu entry. This slide summarizes the changes made in the inventory data during the production process. When the production status is planned, a commitment is created for the components and the ordered quantity of the produced item increases. When the production order is completed, the finished product is received in inventory. Remember that components may be issued in different stages in the production process according to their issue method, manual, or backflush. Note that it is possible to view inventory changes and the costing of each component by production order by entering the variance report from the summary tab of the order. To learn more about the variance report please refer to the accounting of production training. Here are some key points about production process to take away from this session. The production order is based on the bill of materials. A production order is in a planning state until its status changes to released. When the production order is released to the shop floor, components, items and resources can be issued to production and work can begin. Components are issued when an issue for production document is added. Components can be issued using either the manual or the backflush method. With the backflush method, once a receipt from production is created, the items are automatically issued for production. The manual issue method allows you to issue the components precisely when they are required in the production process and also issue a partial quantity, even before reporting completion. When you report completion, the system automatically receives the finished product in inventory and issues backflushed components.